I made these two granny square mini skirts a couple months ago. I also made a blue one, but I sold it on Depop. These two are currently still available on my Depop. If anyone's interested, I'll link it in my description. But someone ordered a custom one from me. She wanted different colours than what I had available. So she wants for the squares different shades of cream and green and brown. And then for the main body of the skirt, she wants brown. So I've bought the yarn yesterday and I played around with some of the green um, yarn colours that I've had laying around. I sent her a message just to see if she was happy with the colours of the squares and I fixed up a few things and then this is where we're at right now. So for the skirt in the size that she needs, I need seven squares. So I've currently done four and I'm working on the fifth currently. I have a few of these baskets and I've been using them as project baskets. So what I did was I just found all the green and brown yarns that I have and put them all in here so they're all in one spot. And I also have the hook and then I've been putting the squares in there while I'm not working on it. This is over a few days progress. I think since she ordered it I've done about one square a day. But now that I've sent her the um, colours and she was happy with the swatches after I fixed up a few um, things and took out one colour that she wasn't happy with, I am ready to like properly get into the project. So I'm hoping today I can at least finish the squares and get them all connected. And the main body of the skirt is going to be this dark brown in this section, which I bought two balls of the other day at Spotlight. I have a few random squares laying around that I've been taking apart to get the colours out of it. Like this khaki green I'll want to use for a square, so I've been undoing it um, to get the colour out of it. I made a bunch of squares, like probably a year and a half ago now and I was going to make a blanket. I started connecting it all together but it was just going to take way too long to like make it as big as I wanted it to do for my bed so I just didn't want to get into that anymore so I took it all apart and then I just had a bunch of squares. Then uh, earlier this year I turned most of the squares into three of these skirts. Now I really love how these turned out and I think they're really cute. When I made these skirts I'd already done the squares and I just kind of pieced together whatever colours I thought looked good together but I still have a few extra squares laying around so I've just been pulling them apart for the colours. I have the middle of the next square it was actually one of these ones and I just undid all of the rows until the middle and it was a, a green middle and then I have the cream from the outside that I'll reuse for the outside of the square. So I'm just going to pick a few different colours from my box and work this square up.
a bit later in the day. I've been taking a few breaks because the cream layer is kind of hurting my hands because like I told you earlier, I'm taking the yarn from these squares so it's like the exact amount to make the edge of the granny square and some of these colors that I'm using are a little bit chunkier than the yarn that I used in those other granny squares so they're a tiny bit bigger and I'm just having to keep my tension so tight doing this cream color so that I have enough. Um, I definitely should have just bought a new ball of cream cotton um, the other day when I bought the brown for the rest of the skirt but oh well. It is working like for all the other squares it's just I have to keep my tension really tight so that the cream can make it to the end. And I was almost to the end of this square and ran out like here uh, so I had to undo most of it and we're trying again holding my tension a lot tighter so it's kind of hurting my um, this hand where I hold my yarn so I've just been taking a few breaks just while I'm finishing up these last few squares because I don't want to hurt my um, wrist or anything but I actually have finished all the other squares and they are all attached together with a single crochet actually I'll show you so here they are all together so for this size skirt I need seven so this is currently six and then the last one that I'm working on the customer really loved this pale green color here so that's what I used to connect all of the squares together and then above the row of squares will be brown and then below will be brown as well. Here's the two balls of yarn I bought for the bottom of the skirt. She wanted like a chocolate brown and I think that's chocolate brown. Okay, I managed to fix up that square that I was having issues with. Connected everything together and I've been working on the bottom portion of the skirt. I think I've done six rows. <laughs> Um, it's working up so quickly actually. I'm just going to send the customer a photo and just ask her if she is happy with this or if she wants me to change anything because I'd rather change it now than finish the skirt and wish I had gone back in and changed something. I found my little <laughs> remote for my camera so hopefully now my clips should be more in focus. Because sometimes like my camera is so far away that I can't focus it and I don't like having auto focus on because it constantly makes a sound anyway hopefully that's better um so it's been a few days since i did the last clip that you've seen um it's christmas new year's <laughs> since that clip um the girl got back to me about the skirt she wanted a few color changes so <laughs> i'm going to unravel what i've done so far fix up a few of the squares and then construct it back together There are three squares that I have to fix up. This is the first one that I'm fixing. Um, she just didn't like one of the colours of the yarn. So I've taken it out and I replaced it with this green. It was just the outer edge on this square. And now I'm just back to doing the cream right around the edge and then we can attach it back together. So I've got two more in this that need to be fixed. This one, the centre colour and then uh, this one here, the second colour here, so I'm just going <laughs> to replace that with this like pistachio green colour and that should be a good substitute I think but I'm really happy with how the squares look, I think they look really cute together, I really like this like colour scheme because the other ones that I've done are a bit random colours, this is a bit more like planned out you know 
so yeah I'm just going to sorry I'm a bit out of breath <laughs> I was just moving stuff around my room so I could put the camera here um yeah probably just do a few more sped up clips until I have something else to say I think the last thing I showed you was me tying in some ends on the granny squares but oh, I've made a little bit of progress <laughs> since then I just I don't know just filming the whole process is kind of boring is it I don't know I connected all the granny squares together with this like pale this pale green yarn here and then I've done a few rows of the brown and then I'll have to do the waistband as well here's my one that I've got hanging up just for reference um, so I know how to do it because this is not a written pattern that I've made I just freehanded this so I'm freehanding it again from the one that I've already made so you can see here this is what I'm working on now like from the bottom of the granny squares down but then I also have to do this part like above where I do a few rows and then put the drawstring in I'm hoping I can have this shipped out by Monday it's Friday night right now it's 7 30 I'm hoping I can have it finished this weekend so I can ship it out to her Monday morning. I'm just going to get back to crocheting. I think, let me count how many um, rows there are on this one. Okay, there's 11 rows on this, like from the granny squares to the bottom. And on this one, I'm up to the fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Is that seven? Seven more. So we shall see how much I can get done tonight. I'm so excited, it looks so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally smashed that out. It's like an hour later and I've done all the rows that I needed to do for the bottom of the skirt. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, now. It looks really short but I'm pretty sure this is how the other ones looked and once I washed it they like stretched a bit. I don't know I'm contemplating doing another row but I'm not sure. I literally this is all the yarn that I have left of the first ball so if I did another row I'd have to probably start the second ball but that's that's fine. I honestly I weighed the skirts that I made and they were like 150 grams, so I thought, oh yeah, I'll get two balls for the bottom of it. But apparently the squares are like really heavy. These brown balls of yarn, this was only 50 grams, and I've done the whole bottom of it in one ball. Um, if you can see, hang on, I'll show you my other one that I did without moving my camera too much. Also, I haven't chopped the ends off these ones, so don't mind that little tail sticking out. It's actually from further up. But, see this one? I did my pattern of like, I do three double crochet and then chain space, but see at the bottom of this one I did like some mesh stitch, here's the other one that I made, like the green one, it has yarn stuck to it, here's the green one, I didn't do the mesh stitch for the green one, so I'm kind of thinking like do I just do one row of mesh stitch, this is not going to be enough yarn for a whole row, I haven't decided yet, I'm going to measure them and see if it'll stretch or if I need to do like one more row because I don't want it to be like a micro mini skirt. <laughs> I want it to actually be like she can wear it, you know? <laughs>
undid the bottom row that I had done and I put two mesh stitch rows instead. And look how much yarn I had left. There's like a meter left. <laughs> so that was perfect. That worked out perfect. I'm going to do this khaki green. It was kind of dark. This khaki green for the frill at the bottom. But I'm going to give it a rest for the night and I'll get started on it tomorrow. Also, I have to edit this video up to this point because I currently have eight seconds of footage space left. So I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I hardly ever film this early in the day, it's like 10 o'clock. I've been awake for a while, but <laughs> I don't usually get my camera out till like the afternoon. Anyway, I've been working on this this morning. I'm finishing off the green frill at the bottom with this khaki colour. I've got about like a quarter or maybe a third left of the bottom hem. And this row is taking a little bit longer because it's a double crochet in every... No, two double crochet in every stitch to make the ruffly effect. But it's looking so cute. So all I have left to do is finish the ruffle, do the waistband, make the drawstring, and wash it. And then it should be good to go. I'm so excited. It looks so cute. I was a bit unsure of the, like, all brown at the bottom, if it was going to look alright. But it does. I'm very happy. <laughs> try and finish this project today uh, I don't know if I mentioned I'm adding some more length to it I spoke with the customer she wants it a tiny bit longer that's okay because it was really short I don't know I made it the exact same as I made the other ones but I don't know maybe it was just this brown yarn I'm just adding some length to the bottom I'm gonna add two more rows and then it should be done I'm hopefully gonna finish it today and then I can wash it and then it should be ready to send tomorrow. I filled my little bucket here just with some cold tap water and I put a little bit of my laundry detergent in it and then just hand washed the skirt. I recommend hand washing all of your crochet things. It just is so much gentler on the pieces and I definitely found it stretched out a little bit when I was squeezing out the water at the end but this is definitely way better than popping it in the washing machine because it can get really stretched out. I did wear a glove, that's only because I didn't want it to irritate my hand from washing. And here I'm just draining the excess water and then I squeezed the skirt out as much as I could. It honestly took a little bit of strength to get all the water because it just sucks up so much water when you wash it. But I managed to get some out of it. And then I rinsed it in cold water because it still had some like soapy suds on it. So I rinsed it as much as I could and then wrung it out again <laughs> and then I let it to dry over this bucket and then I also put it on a towel to dry as well and I put it in the dryer for just like a little bit but I don't recommend doing that if you're unsure um, I've tested a bunch of things in the dryer and I'm happy with doing it so just do it as you wish <laughs> um, here's the finished product I'm so happy I shipped it out yesterday and I really hope she'll love it I'm happy with the color scheme 
and how it turned out. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. So much fun to film this process. My first ever crochet commission. So I'm very excited to keep doing more.